Hi everybody. All right, today is December 7th. So we are going to go over the seventh envelope envelope from Miss Silla's Crafty Low or No Spin Facebook group um, where she did a challenge. She sent us all envelopes and today we're doing the seventh one. Um, so I will make sure that I link Scylla's YouTube and anything else I may mention because I tend to ramble. <laughs> I will make sure I, I'm trying to be better about putting links um, at the bottom of the video so you guys can go check it out. I'll also put a couple of links of other embellishments that I've done because while I'm showing you a layout right here, I actually did an embellishment but I'm gonna show you how I used it on a layout that I did yesterday. Yesterday? No, today, this morning. I finished these last night, I'm trying to think. <laughs> so, and then at the end of the video, we'll open day eight and see what we have from Miss Scylla to inspire us. Okay, so what I did was I made letters. Like I did not know where I was gonna go with this. I, I struggled a little. But that's okay, it made me think outside the box. So what I did is I used the sequins to um, die, well first I die cut some just black cardstock and I use these dies from scrapbook.com. When they go on sale, they have their big sales, that's when I buy my alpha dies from them because I love their alpha dies. So, I used these ones and I just used the background. I didn't actually use the letter. And then as you see, to spell Jesus, I covered them with sequins. I used almost, well, I used a lot of the red, not all of them, but I used some of them. And then we will embellish this a little more with a few more sequins. But I thought, because every day I'm giving Miss Scylla a gift to show you how I did it, not that it's that complicated, but I would make Scylla's name out of letters. And I would put them, and that's going to be her gift for me for today's inspiration. So it will say Scylla, and I've done it in green. We will do the I together. Okay. So let me take my layout and set it aside because I don't want to get anything on that. Let me, under my mat, I always keep scrappy paper that I use to glue and, and do whatnot on, stamp on. So let's get that out. Okay. Now, I'm going to tell you, I don't know that I will ever do this again the way I did my um, Jesus ones. I will do them the way I did Scylla's name. And the reason being, I made it harder on myself. I thought I wanted it to have a lot more texture. And it does. I mean, it has, if you look here, it has a lot of texture. It does. But they were hard to get on there. Oh my gosh, I had to do it in a process. I'd have to put them down and then I'd have to go back. And it was a lot. It was a lot more drama than I wanted it to be. It became something that started really fun and then I was stressing myself out over it. And I always say if it's stressing... Pardon me, stressing you out? Do not do it. Like, <laughs> it's too much. <laughs> so let's get our glue. And these are sticking to my fingers already. They do stick. They like, they're a little staticky. I rub my hands a couple times with a, let's do that now. If you take a dryer sheet, and just like you do on your die cutting, like I have a big shot, just rub your hands and your, um, like I rub my mats with it, rub your hands and stuff, things don't stick to you as much. So I always keep a dryer sheet or two in here. And so then they won't, see, look, they won't just stick to my finger. So I'm just going to put some dots on the eye. Come on. And I'm actually just going to run a line. Now remember, at first, this is going to look like we have a whole bunch of stuff on it, but we don't because the glue, the white will turn clear when it dries. As you can see, like in the A and the C, I'll show you the C, there's no glue. Like it's, I mean, you there is obviously, they're staying on there, but there's no, no white, it dries clear. Then I'm gonna use my We Are Memories Keepers Quick Stick to grab these sequins and we're gonna find some green ones 
Sometimes I think the challenge is finding the ones that are upright. And we'll just start at the top and put them down. So let's see here, I might have to mix them up to get some to flip over. Okay, and drag some of the glue up there. Use the other end. Now you can get these, I've had people ask me, because I've used this before, whoops, where I um, got this. I, honestly, I got my quick stick on Amazon. It was always out of stock on scrapbook.com, so that's where I got it. You can buy it on scrapbook.com. I think I'd even see it on Cherry on Top, but I bought mine. That's only a half one. I bought mine on Amazon. Simple. And we're just going to keep them in line. Look, I have a red one stuck on my finger. So, a couple more. And I will say, do use this end to push things down because if you try to push it down with this, you're just making the sticky go on it more, right? And there we go. So now we'll just spread these out just a hair. And there we go. We'll just let it dry. And at the end of this, I will, um, once this all dries, I'll put them in her envelope. It should be dry by the time we're done talking. And that will be Miss Scylla's gift. She'll have her name in sequins. Oh, I just took one off. Sad, hang on, I gotta fix it. I don't think you guys can see me down here. I don't wanna drop it. That's what I get for trying to slide it. Okay, I'm gonna have to take my little stick here and fix it. There we go. what I get for trying to slide it. Let's I'll put another dab of glue here. Oh my gosh. Oh, see, that's why I did most of it off camera because it they were just being finicky for me. And I don't, I do not work with sequins a lot. I don't, I mean, I've used them, but not a ton. Okay, don't touch it. <laughs> Stay away from me. Okay, we'll let it dry. I'm putting them on this paper so I can just slide the paper. Okay, so we got that and I'm gonna, I just put mine all in a um, paper plate, easier for me. Okay, so let's bring over our layout. Set our envelope aside. And I just did this layout. Um, this is the um, remaining pictures from when my kids, you remember a couple couple days ago, we did a layout where we were at practice and this is them um, actually in the show. So my oldest and my youngest son and my middle daughter and it was pretty cute. My youngest son was not even born yet. I realized when I was doing this. So um, I, I just glued these down after they dried and we just have celebrating Jesus. And then I used actually some mini swap and um, Secret Santa swaps that I had from last year from Love RTS. And I'll put that um, Facebook group also so you can check that out if you want to um, that we exchanged last year. And then I just took some of the sequins and I Put them around so we're just going to add a few more um i'm not going to go crazy crazy so just add a few more accents here and let's see here i think we'll put a green one there there's no wrong way to do it whatever you like you know i really did really really did want to use the christmas trees but they just don't kind of fit. They don't really fit my theme for here, which that's okay. I think I want to turn that one upside right. These things are just so ornery. Again, don't worry about the glue. It will dry, like I said. Then we'll do a red one right here. 
I can get it off. There we go. Um, I think we'll do another red one. I like red. Red's my favorite color, so I have a tendency to choose red. Probably too much. Let's see, what else can we... I think we need to put one here and here. I did put a white one in the middle of the berry. For the I think this is Holly. Claire made these for a mini swap. So because this is all red, I'm gonna do two green. So definitely know that's what I wanna do. I gotta find one that's flipped up the right way. You wanna smash them down in the glue. And like I said, they are some finicky little boogers, but that's okay. It'll be beautiful when it's done. Okay, so then I'm thinking, thinking maybe right here. And then I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna call it good. Let's see, so, you know, I really want to do red because <laughs> like I said, red's my favorite, but we'll do a green one. There we go. And that will be my page. Today was pretty, I mean, actually I put a lot of time into the um, title, the Jesus, but um, that would have taken, like literally you guys, I, I don't know if you guys watch Yellowstone, but my husband and I sat and watched Yellowstone and cause he had time tonight. We didn't have time on, um, or last night. I keep saying tonight. <laughs> It's last night. I'm tired. I stayed up till 11 <laughs> together. Um, so last night we watched Yellowstone and while I was watching Yellowstone, I sat and glued these together. My husband's like, what are you doing? <laughs> it's pretty funny. Pretty funny. Anyway, so there's the layout that I was inspired by and I had this kind of going and I knew I wanted to do Jesus. And when I um, got to thinking about it, I'm like, Let's just sequin it. You know what? He deserves to be sparkly. He does. So that's what I did. And then I made the um, name for Celia. We will definitely send that to her. All right. So thank you guys for watching. I appreciate you very much. I hope you'll like and subscribe. And I'll put a couple more of the embellishments I've made with the Advent Challenge video links if you guys want to see those. And let's open day eight. Oh goodness, there's something cute. Oh, look, it's a poinsettia ornaments. Ooh, there's one that's a finished die cut. Like she made this one, obviously. And this one is bare bones. You can choose to back it how you want. Let's make sure I got them all. Okay, I did. So yeah, we could. See, now I'm thinking it needs some sequins. <laughs> I have sequins on the brain now. All right, so this is for tomorrow. We will see what I can come up with. Something, something. I'm going to have to think about that one too. All right, you guys. I appreciate you, and I hope you have a very blessed day, and I will see you tomorrow. Thanks. Bye.